Hi there. This is the 1.13 update of my cable tray app. I would like to show you what's new here. So the big change in this version that from now on you can add cable tray covers to all these elements. So let's see how this is working. Um, as usual, the easiest way to show you this new option is through uh, equipments. I mean, all these geometries, what you see here, are equipments. But of course, for you, uh, if you are drawing a cable route, a uh, cable tray route, you should create your own spec and use the tool points to insert the elements. This is just for testing the geometry. I mean, adding equipment. Uh, cable tray elements are only for testing. Testing the geometry if everything is all right, uh, if uh, the cable tray element looks what it should look like. So okay, let's see this new option. So let's start with this simple straight piece. I would like to show you as much as possible. Okay, maybe this way. Mm, not perfect. Mm, this is better. So, the two new uh, value, I mean, parameter is H2 and TH2. H2 is basically the height of the cover. Mm, it is shown here on this, this uh, small piece of uh, drawing but in the spec editor it is much bigger so you can actually see how it is working so h2 is the height of the cover as you can see in the two in the two tip and th2 is basically the the thickness of the the cover so let's make let's make a normal tray i mean a leather type one it's maybe better and the thickness i increase a little bit to four okay and now i add a cover and so let's say the cover the height of the cover is 20 millimeter and the thickness of the cover is quite low let's say two millimeter and i hit apply so this is it the tray cover is generated so as you can see it is there uh, I can modify it a little bit further so let's say make it 30 and 1 still working 10 and 4 still okay and one more option I would like to show you if the two values are equal I mean H2 and TH2, it is only generating a simple plate. So it is like this. Okay, let's go a little bit further. Try testing the bands. So here I can add, uh, let's see, 2 millimeter thickness and GB12, the height of the cover. Okay, it is generated like this. Okay, another band. 30 and 2, or it's 11 and 2. Just for fun. Okay, so it is also working here. 1 and 4. Yes. Ah, don't forget. Uh, if you use negative value for the TH, you are generated solid stiffeners. So you can save some computing power because it's a little bit easier for the computers to work with totally solid stiffeners. Okay, I think you got the idea. I leave this band alone. 
there is this uh, reducer so if I add 40 and 1 it is generated like this no problem with it okay let's check a couple of more items So it is working for the cross two, and there are the T and the Y. So H two lets me make thirty one and one, one millimeter thickness. So it's like this. And if I change the G to minus one hundred and the angle to 30 uh, minus uh, minus 45 apply and it is still working like this there are some strange lines here showing through the one millimeter thick plate but it is working trust me it is there if I go to just shade it you can see that it is okay so this is the latest update from now on you can generate covers as well uh, one thing if you are in the spec editor and you have already made some elements as I did uh, this th2 and h2 value will appear in the spec editor but it won't work for old parts i mean parts which are generated uh, which were generated before this 13th update uh, so you have to use some sql coding to make it work for old parts but it's not that heavy coding it's just maybe five uh, lines totally and I have a, a video about this SQL coding. You might want to check it. It is shown at the end of this video. Uh, thank you for watching as always. And bye bye.